That's the package that you came in. African, Ethiopian, Nubian, Melanin. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our Spotify channel. This is Keep Talking. I'm, I'm here with Dr. Tolson of Morgan State University. Um, Dr. Tolson, you take it away. Hi, how are you, Deneen? And thanks here. for inviting me to Keep Talking. Yeah, um, honestly, it's a privilege to have somebody that is close to the president. And I looked you up a little bit. Okay. So <laughs> I'm very, scary. No, 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 no. It's not in like a scary way. I know, I know. I'm joking. For, for me, I'm really excited because I have a lot of questions to ask you. Let's I have do about it. five questions. Let's so get to it. Let's get started. So the first question is what attracted you to come to Morgan State University? So I, I'm, I was not a student at Morgan State University. I'm a proud Kentucky State University and Howard University alum. And uh, Morgan State University recruited me um, almost 20 years ago to come and help build the public relations program. At the time, it was only one course that was being taught for the entire major, and public relations was my thing. And so at the time, the chairperson was um, Dr. Alvin Kennedy. And he said he had seen me at different conferences. And um, I want to say the third time um, he asked me, I said, OK, sure, let's go ahead and do this. So I have to be honest, I didn't apply. I was recruited to come to Morgan State University. And I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I've been here almost 20 years now. That is amazing. <laughs> that is really amazing. Wow, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> so my next question is, how did you research your, in, your interests align with your research with your department? And how does it help with the overall mission for Morgan State? So my current role, I am the executive director of the Honors College, the Clara I. Adams Honors College at Morgan State University, um, which is a bit different from what my professional experience is in public relations. Um, or rather my trained experience is in public relations. Um, as the executive director, um, the research is varied. Um, the reality is about a year ago is when the president appointed me into that position. And I did my homework first. You, you Just because I was an honor student, just because I know honor students doesn't mean we're just going to give them what we know. I had a lot of town halls with the current honor students so that they could tell me what it is they wanted and what it is they were looking for in the program. And then we did national research as well. What makes a, a thriving, vibrant honors college across the country? What are the programs that are receiving high marks? And not just high marks because somebody is in a back room saying, oh gosh, you guys are doing a good job, no based on the way the students like their program as well. So it's it's been very, um, it's been multi-prong is the best way to put it with regards to the research. How does that impact the vision for Morgan State University? Um, as I should know, and I do know, one of our strategic goals is student success at Morgan State University. And um, the manner in which we are approaching the vision for the Honors College is directly in alignment with student success. If, if you're not successful, we have not succeeded. Mm. Wow, that is interesting. So my next question is, students of color are underrepresented, especially in a broad spectrum. So how does <clears throat> your mission and Morgan State mission help Heal that, heal that, heal that separation, or how does that, how does that go along with the underrepresentation of the co people of color, and how does that? So, um, I, I'm to me that's not a simple question, and so there is no simple answer. I am one of those few people who disagrees that people or students of color are underrepresented in all areas. I don't agree with that. I'm very numbers based. I know, for example, that according to the US Census, it's 13% of um, the total US population that is African American. I don't know what percentage of that is students, but if it's a total number that's 13%, I have to assume that the number that is students is even less. So when we look at are they underrepresented? 
That's a, that's a tricky question. They may not be underrepresented. The way I like to approach that question is, as, as someone of color, are you limited in going after what it is you want to go after? So for me, I think, I think, and I studied representation when I was in, in, in getting my master's and my doctorate, and I, I think I've, I've shifted my viewpoint on how we understand misrepresentation and underrepresentation. And I, I would beg to say that we're not entirely underrepresented. I would say that I would rather we shift the focus to do I, as a student of color, have access and opportunity to go after the things that I want to go after. And that's a different conversation because that conversation, the answer is both yes and no, depending on exactly what it is you're looking at. That is a good answer, I love it. <laughs> so my next question is professionally, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself doing exactly what I am doing now. And what am I doing now? I am spending every moment of my day, every project looking for fulfillment. So I, I don't have this big picture. I have a few big picture items, but mostly it's Tosin, are you fulfilled? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Are you seeing value in what you're doing? Are you making the necessary impact that you want to make? And if the answer to that is yes, now, which it is, I want the answer to be the exact same in 10 years. Wow. That is so deep. <laughs> okay, so my next question is, what personally made you want to choose a career in education? Hmm. I didn't choose the career in education, so I can't say something personally made me want to choose it. I was told by two former professors that I'm a natural in the manner in which I, um, um, they, they called it, um, Dr. Cummings said, Tosin, you, you have active connections that you make with students to allow them to see themselves. And you make it less about you and more about them. And educators should have that quality. So she was the first person that said that to me. And then um, Dr. Richard Wright uh, from um, Howard University, literally said you were born to do this. So when people tell you those things, you kind of listen. And so by the time they knocked on my door a third time, I was like, okay, Tosin, open the door. Let's see what education looks like for you. So I didn't choose education. In fact, I would have never chosen education. Wow, that is really deep. So how would us Morgan State University students, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, how will we get in contact with you? Oh, Lord have mercy. So the best way to get in contact with me is almost everyone at Morgan State University faculty anyway, have the exact same email address mm -hmm. in the sense that it's your first name, dot your last name at morgan.edu. Um, the other way to get in touch with me in all fairness is um, honors college at morgan.edu. Um, I get both emails um, and they come to me. Um, so that's the best way to get in touch with me. So can you tell us a little bit more about, thank you for that. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit more about the Honors College? Like for instance, if I wanted to join me Absolutely. as a freshman, how would I go about that? Sure. So I am really proud of the Clara I. Adams Honors College, which I am honored and lucky to lead. We are in a reimagination phase as of January 2022 of last year. Well, we're in 2023, so of course, it's January of last year. Um, for incoming freshmen, actually for everybody, all of our information now is very cleanly and clearly on Morgan's website. So www.morgan.edu slash honors college, and you find all the information there. Um, we only take freshmen coming in so you can't have applied and admitted been admitted at morgan spent your first semester at morgan and then get into the honors college as a freshman you have to come into the university as a freshman honor student um, with all other classifications um, you you can come in as long as you have earned 30 credit hours 
within the institution first. But like I said, so that I don't lie and give the wrong information on, on your podcast, the best way to get the most up-to-date information is go to the Honours College page at morgan.edu. This is amazing. So let me, <laughs> I would like to thank you, Dr. Tosin, for this amazing conversation. I really learned a lot. Um, also, please like, comment, and subscribe to this podcast. Um, also, feel free to you know share this co- podcast with other freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and give us recommendations for what we should talk about next. So thank you all. Bye. Mm-hmm.